Hi, welcome to this Fiber Academy course in the scope of the Fiber Security chapter and regarding the PEP proxy Vilma generic enabler. This is the first lesson of this course uh, in which uh, I will give you an introduction of why to use this uh, Vilma generic enabler. Uh, then I will uh, provide you an idea of uh, which uh, levels of security uh, this, uh, this component uh, provides uh, you. I will uh, uh, enumerate the, the, the related generic enablers that uh, also take part uh, in, this, uh, in, in this configuration, in this type of configuration. Um, and uh, finally, um, I will summarize how the rest of the courses of this, how the rest of the lessons of this course um, will, will work, okay? How will be, they will be structured. Uh, and also, uh, I will uh, provide you some, some several links to, to documentation that uh, will be useful in order to understand better this generic enabler. Okay, so the first step is to understand why to use this generic enabler. Okay, so this is a security generic enabler that is thought to uh, add a security layer in uh, your backend services. Okay, so imagine that uh, in your application, in your service, you are providing a, a REST API in order to, to, to expose your, your resources and there are uh, several users that uh, using uh, web applications or, or REST uh, clients or s other services are sending uh, HTTP requests to your backend service. Okay. Uh, this, uh, this service is a public service but, but you need or you want to add a security layer in order to allow the access to, to these resources so, to some users and to deny the access to uh, other users. Okay, so PEP proxy, Vilma generic enabler, is a component that you can deploy on top of your REST API and will intercept every request that the client sends to your service, will allow the, um, um, some request and will uh, deny the access to other requests, okay, coming from from different type of services. Um, okay, uh, which type of uh, or what levels of, of security uh, can you add to your backend uh, service? Okay, this uh, this uh, Bitmap proxy can be configured in three levels of security. The level one is uh, only authentication. Using this level of uh, security, this component will also also check. If a user that is trying to access your resources is authenticated in your platform, okay. Um, so every user that uh, that has an account uh, in the in the in the system will be able or will will be authorized to access the, the resources. The second level of security is a basic uh, authorization level in which you are defined permissions and assigning these permissions to, to the users in order to um, decide uh, which users can access to which resources. Okay? These permissions are set in form of a HTTP verb and a resource. So you are defining which user can, uh, can uh, send uh, specific actions, specific HTTP actions to uh, specific resources. Finally, the third level of uh, security is uh, similar to the second one, but in this case, uh, the permissions are, are not, uh, are not uh, described in a form of a HTTP verb and a resource, but are described using uh, custom XACML policies. Uh, XACML uh, is, a, is a protocol, uh, a policy protocol that uh, we are not going to enter in details here because we have uh, specific courses to understand this protocol. Okay, but of course uh, there are other generic enablers, other security generic enablers that are involved in all this um, environment, okay? 
which are uh, them. Okay, the first one is the identity management generic enabler, Keyrock generic enabler, that is in charge of managing identity in Fiverr. Okay, so this generic enabler will be the, the, the component in charge of providing the tokens that uh, an authenticated user in the platform will need to include in all the requests uh, that sends to, to the backend that is uh, secured by, the, by uh, Bilma. Okay? This generic enabler, this component, is also the component that will check, that will validate if a user is correctly authenticated in the, in the system. Okay, but we will enter in details of this mechanism in uh, further lessons. What, uh, um, what do you need to know regarding this uh, generic enabler? Okay, you need to know how to register a new application in uh, Keyrock. You need to know how to manage role, uh, roles and permissions, how to manage organization, and of course how to create or out two tokens that are the, the tokens that uh, the clients needs to include in the requests. Of course, we provide uh, a course with uh, several lessons regarding this generic enabler also in the Fiverr Academy platform. So you can go there and uh, start uh, learning about this generic enabler. The second one is the authorization PDP generic enabler out uh, theta force that is the policy decision point uh, of uh, Fiverr and also the policy administrator point. So in this component is where you have to register the permissions uh, and is the point where the Bilma pep proxy uh, will check if a user is authorized to perform an action in a resource or if a user has the uh, needed XACML policy to access a specific resource. So uh, obviously you have to uh, know uh, some, uh, some um, uh, concepts regarding this uh, protocol. We also provide a course in which uh, you will learn everything uh, regarding this protocol. Okay, so um, the, 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 finally, I, I, will, uh, I, I would like to provide you uh, which is the structure of the further courses, of the, sorry, the further lessons that we, that we will uh, learn uh, in this course. Uh, so this is basically the structure that I will follow. Uh, in each lesson I will uh, um, of course explain you the, the contents of the specific lessons. I will provide you several main concepts that you need uh, in order to understand the, the course, uh, the specific lesson and some guidelines that uh, will be useful in the, in the lesson. But the main part of, the, of each lesson will be a live tutorial in which uh, Using my computer, I will show you uh, all the, the parts uh, of each course. Uh, here is the documentation that you uh, can check uh, in order to understand the points that, I, uh, that I've just uh, shown you. That are uh, basically, uh, of course, the documentation and the source code of this uh, generic enabler of Bilma and also the main page of the documentation uh, of the, the other two generic enablers of the security chapter that are involved uh, in, this, in this course. Okay, so that's all in this uh, first lesson. Uh, thank you very much and see you in the next one.